In this Big Tractor Power video, I'm going to visit with a representative from Vermeer about the new Vermeer ZR5-1200 self-propelled round baler. We're going to take a look at the advantages this machine has in putting up a lot of hay in a hurry. We'll talk about its features and different components, how it can operate in the field and on the road. We'll also take some time to climb up in the cab and see all the technology that runs this self-propelled round baler. Hi Big Tractor Power fans, I'm here with Bart from Vermeer. He's a territory manager for the company, but he's been very involved with the development of the ZR5 self-propelled round baler, which I think is a pretty impressive machine. And we're gonna talk about some of the equipment features and also get up in the cab and take a look at some of the technology that makes it run. You bet, yep. Yeah, we're standing here at the National Farm Machinery Show actually in front of the ZR5. 1200 and this is a 200 horsepower self-propelled round baler so uh, it's if you're familiar with what is a zero turn lawnmower is this is kind of a giant one and it's uh, all hydrostatic uh, there's uh, basically four hydraulic motors on the machine to drive the uh, the uh, basically your transmission you might say uh, and then one drives the bale chamber and one drives the pickup so um, very, very efficient machine. Uh, it's extremely comfortable. The ride quality is second to none. And uh, the maneuverability of this machine, there's just nothing out there that, that can get into those odd shaped fields and be as efficient as this machine. Well, it certainly looks well built. I'm just looking at the front caster wheels here, too, and that's some very thick looking metal. Yes, and uh, you know, very unique uh, patent pending. Uh, suspension system out there on this machine and and really what it makes its machine uh, different than anything else is in bailing mode uh, again uh, we can go up to 12 13 miles an hour and at that point we're steering the machine from the rear uh, drive tires uh, and uh, that allows this machine to be so maneuverable um, but when we switch it to transport mode to go down that road we have the ability to go up to 34 miles an hour um, when we're in field mode, just picture these cylinders, we dump all the oil out of them, and they allow that cylinder to just uh, go in and out, allows this front wheel just turn into a caster wheel. So field mode, that's what we want, that gives us that extra maneuverability. In transport mode, we need those front wheels locked in for safety. Uh, so at that point, we get the wheels straight, we lock these cylinders back in place, they actually turn into tie rods, and the center cylinder is actually doing the steering at that point. So at, in transport mode, we're steering the machine from the, from the front, uh, just that safety going down the road, allowing us to, to top out at that 34 miles an hour. Very impressive, and uh, I guess maybe we could take a look at the drive wheels in the back here. I'm sure. So this is where most of your control then comes on the on the, the bailing. Yeah, there's there's you know maybe a little hard to see, but uh, there's two motors on each side that are actually driving um, driving the machine. They're kind of tucked in there. They're a little harder to see, but uh, um, that's actually the pickup motor that we see there. But we haven't really talked much about the baler. I guess the the standard uh, 605N on the machine. Uh, that means it's a six by six tall five wide bale okay and uh this is a the 605 in baler we've we've had in production for the last five years uh it's a proven uh baler uh that actually has the powered wind guard option on it and uh, that allows us to to really bale those tough for crops corn stock straw those types of things and uh, uh this baler's modular uh, it has the ability literally can come off the machine in a couple of minutes uh, to do maintenance to, to clean. Uh, you know, at some point, uh, you're gonna wear out that chamber long before the power unit wears out. Uh, so we have the ability to replace that that uh, bail chamber, and keep on bailing. That's a that's a great setup. And so what, what kind of uh, size bales or weight do they, I guess on the weight, can it produce? Or? Yep, yep, certainly depends on moisture and hay. Uh, you know, th has the ability to, to uh, bail up to a 2,400 pound bale. Uh, but yeah, traditional hay baling, you know, you're going to bale in that 1,800, 2,000 pounds. Uh, corn stocks, you know, you're going to be in the uh, 12, 13, 1,400 pounds 
certainly depending on, on moisture. But we do have the ability with that scale in there uh, to tell us uh, what that weight is and oh, moisture. That's great. And I guess the other key component is the, the pickup head, which is kind of behind the cab and underneath, the, again, kind of like the Zero Trim Lawnmower right under yeah. you. Yeah, and that's uh, certainly one of the greatest parts of a Vermeer Baylor is how that pickup is built. And uh, it's a five bar pickup. Uh, we've got the heaviest teeth, uh, certainly on the market um, in, in our design uh, to, to make that pickup last a long time, and especially bailing those dirty corn stalks and that. Uh, we need that pickup to last a long time. And um, this machine is just built tough. It's a, the baler alone will weigh over 8,000 pounds and uh, it's, it's, it's built tough uh, to handle the job. That's great. Well, why don't we take a look up in the cab and see what the technology looks like that runs this. All right. Thank you. We'll just take a quick peek while I'm going by. I'm going to look under here and we'll see the, the pickup. As you can see here where the material is going to come in. And just a straight center line from the front all the way to the back. And we'll hop up in the cab. Well, let's take a look at what the inside of the Vermeer self-propelled Rom Baylor looks like. There's a lot of interesting technology on the outside, but also the inside that makes the machine operate. So it looks like a very nice roomy cab. Yes, uh, great visibility. And uh, you know, certainly can see, you got a nice comfortable uh, driver's seat here, air, air cooled, heated, air ride seat. So uh, very comfortable. That's definitely belling in style. Yeah. So as you can see, uh, we've got a camera that, that uh, points towards the pickup. So in bailing mode, uh, we're viewing that pickup. Uh, no need to turn around for sure. Sure, and I guess we're sitting right above the pickup then, here in the cab. Uh, yeah, it's kind of uh, be right below here, actually. Okay. But uh, uh, yeah, so once the tailgate cracks open, uh, automatically the camera will switch to the rear view camera, okay. and we're gonna see that bail come out at that point. It's also the, the eyes in the back of your head when you're in transport mode, so you can see uh, traffic behind you. So we'll switch back to the, to the pickup. So we've got all of our information here. Uh, we, got, uh, on, uh, we got scales on the machine. So we got weight uh, capabilities showing us the, the weight of the bale, total weight in the field. Uh, we've got moisture uh, readout as well, so moisture range from 8% eight, uh, 8 up to 28%. So going to give us uh, field totals, uh, total bales on the machine. Um, also have a built-in inclometer on the machine. A lot of people say, well, how do I dump the bale on the side of the hill? So you can see we're obviously sitting in a level spot, but if we're on a hillside and uh, we want to be able to to place that bale on that hill without it rolling down. Um, we can press and hold the A button, just turn the steering wheel, tell those numbers read back to zero, and we can dump that bale, and wow. hopefully it doesn't run down the hill. So uh, really an, a, a cool feature there as well. Most of our functions are all on the joystick, so uh, if we're in our fully automated mode, uh, we can predetermine how we want that bale uh, to be dumped, whether we want it to dump straight out the back, we would uh, press the down arrow. If we want the machine to quarter turn to the right, we would press this arrow or left, obviously the other arrow. So once we select that, it's gonna do that every time until we tell it to do something different. Up and down, gives us up and down on our tailgate, uh, manual there as well. Up and down on the pickup. Um, so the D button is actually the go button. So. When we're bailing, we get full bail buzzer. Um, the machine's gonna come to a stop. It's gonna go to the tie cycle. It's gonna quarter turn if we have that selected or, or prepare to dump out the back, raise and lower the tailgate. Then it's gonna point us back in front of the windrow. And the only thing we're gonna do is hit the D button, the go button and back to bailing. So fully automated at that point. That's impressive. That yeah. It, uh, Basically, uh, you're steering the machine and uh, hitting that button all day long. So No guesswork to it. No, no. Uh, a lot of cool features with the ZR5 as well because we've designed a power unit specifically to run that baler. So, for example, we have the ability 
to adjust the baler speeds. Let's see here. Let me go back one, I'm sorry. Uh, so we have the ability to adjust our chamber speed. Uh, so belt speed. Uh, we have the ability to adjust our pickup speed. So let's say we get into a situation, short dry hay in the afternoon, and we want to reduce buildup in the machine. We can actually slow our belt speed down, but keep our pickup speed the same. Um, the net actually speed, or the baler speed speeds up when we go into the tie cycle uh, to pull the net wrap in faster. And then we actually slow the belts way down when we dump the bale so that uh, we're not scuffing net or anything at that point. Um, and then obviously pickup speeds, um, you know, we can vary that uh, depending on crop conditions as well. So what typical speed would you be running a machine like this in the field? Yep, so uh, ground speed uh, in the field mode, bailing speed is, is up to 13 miles an hour. So depending on, uh, you know, the volume, um, the one thing that allows us to run those speeds cons consistently is the comfort and the ride quality. So you can imagine you we're, uh, we're sitting in this machine and the cab is much more forward than a traditional tractor. Mm -hmm. So what that allows us to do is to add more suspension to the cab. And that's it's a patent pending um, uh, option on this, not an option, but standard feature on this on this machine. And with the cab sitting up here, we can take that rough, uneven ground and absorb those that shock much better. So in a traditional tractor, you may have to slow down uh, coming into some rough conditions. The ZR5, you're probably just going to maintain your speed because it can take that shock. So ride quality, maneuverability. Uh, in the field mode, where we have the ability to, you know, operate this machine basically like a zero turn lawnmower. We can, we can turn on a dime. We don't have to skip our uh, windrow at the, at the end of our headland uh, to go back in because we don't, have, there's no gearbox. There's no uh, drive line uh, that we're worried about protecting. So that's where a lot of this, the efficiency comes in. It's just the maneuverability and the ride quality. I, I can see a lot of value in that if I can bail twice as fast as I normally would, that especially with weather coming in, that you're going to get a lot more wind rows picked up and put away. Yes, and with the automation, we're just never missing a beat. You, you know, we don't get that interruption phone call and we forget to dump the bail, or maybe we dumped a bail without net wrap or something like that. That just, we eliminate all those and it just keeps us... Uh, as efficient as possible all day long. Now, does a machine like this use auto guidance or GPS, or do you just we, pretty much follow the wind row because it's uh, already laid out there? Yeah, we, we do not have that uh, at this point. Uh, you can see the, the your your bale shape bars here. Once we if we would have a bale in it, they would rise up uh, eight of these. Um, but uh, at this point, we're steering it, Jet. Okay. Yep. So. So yeah. Uh, any other any other questions i guess oh no, no, it's uh, just a very impressive machine i'm looking forward to seeing it out in the field and i'm just yeah, gonna turn yeah. the camera on and just show the visibility out of the cab here we can see the, the baler actually back there and uh, just great great view all the way around yeah it's uh you know the first thing you'll notice when you are bailing if you're used to bailing with tr traditional tractor um there's you're not looking out over the hood or around an exhaust to, to find the windrow. It's right. The visibility and the, and the ease of bailing and uh, straddling the windrow is just second to me. I guess just one last question I have is we talked about the field speed, but what kind of speed does this have on yeah, going down the road? Great, great question. Uh, it goes up to 34 miles an hour. Um, so that's another real cool feature of the, of the machine because in bailing mode, uh, to increase that maneuverability, we're steering the machine from the rear tires, just like those two drive motors. It's all hydrostatic, it's just like what you used to with your lawnmower. But uh, and at that point, the front wheels fully caster, and we achieve that by dumping the oil out of these two cylinders up here, uh, and that allows those front wheels just to caster. So when we go down the road at 34 miles an hour, we do not want that to happen. Right. So what happens once we get the machine straight, 
those cylinders lock back in place. They actually turn into tie rods. And the center cylinder is really what's steering the machine. So we're steering the machine from the front. And it's literally like driving your pickup down the road. It's, mm. uh, you know, a lot of customers will say, well, my tractor does 28, 30 miles an hour down the road. Um, you're not really going that much faster. But the, the limiting factor with that is the hop that you get from the baler or your whatever right. you're pulling. You, there is none of that with this because we're, the baler is part of the machine. So you're going to run full speed, um, and uh, it, it's a dream to drive. Well, that's um, that's very impressive, and I, I've unfortunately seen accidents like with big balers where the tractor could do 30 miles per hour, but the tires on the big baler were not intended for that, and so it, it's good to have this compact machine and just zip out there and get to the next field. You bet, you bet. Well, thank you for the information, and uh, looking forward to getting out and seeing when these are work. Yeah, yeah, me too. I appreciate your time. Sure, thank you.